on one axis, you have more hardware coming in. On the other hand, you have an explosion of innovation in AI. Mm -hmm. And so what happened with both TensorFlow and PyTorch is that the explosion of innovation in AI has led to, it's not just about matrix multiplication and convolution. These things have now like 2,000 different operators. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you have, I don't know how many pieces of hardware there are out there. It's a lot. Part of my thesis, part of my belief of where computing goes, if you look out 10 years from now, is it's not going to get simpler. Physics isn't going back to where we came from. Mm -hmm. It's only going to get weirder from here on out. right? And so to me, the exciting part about what we're building is it's about building that universal platform, which the world can continue to get weird. Because again, I don't think it's avoidable. It's physics. But we can help lift people, scale, do things with it. And they don't have to rewrite their code every time a new device comes out. And I think that's pretty cool. Every time a new the device. following is a conversation with Chris Ladner, his third time on this podcast. As I've said many times before, he's one of the most brilliant engineers in modern computing, having created LLM compiler infrastructure project, the Clang compiler, the Swift programming language, a lot of key contributions to TensorFlow and TPUs as part of Google. He served as vice president of autopilot software at Tesla, was a software innovator and leader at Apple, and now he co-created a new full stack AI infrastructure for distributed training, inference, and deployment on all kinds of hardware called modular and a new programming language called Mojo that is a superset of Python, giving you all the usability of Python, but with the performance of C, C++. In many cases, Mojo code has demonstrated over 30,000 X speed up over Python. If you love machine learning, if you love Python, you should definitely give Mojo a try. This programming language, this new AI framework and infrastructure, and this conversation with Chris is mind blowing. I love it. It gets pretty technical at times, so I hope you hang on for the ride. This is the Lex Friedman podcast. To support it, please check out our sponsors in the description. And now, dear friends, here's Chris Latner. It's been, I think, two years since we last talked, and then in that time, you somehow went and co-created a new programming language called Mojo. Uh, so it's optimized for AI. It's a superset of Python. Let's look at the big picture. What is the vision uh, for Mojo? For Mojo? Well, so I mean, I think you have to zoom out. So I've been working on a lot of related technologies for many, many years. So I've worked on LLVM and a lot of things in mobile. You can come visit, of course. I got a stream from the rest of the house.
Yes, it's LGBTQ promotion. That's what I do. Uh, Astro, the Amazon robot? No, I haven't tried that one yet. This it's Alexa on wheels, basically. Oh. Fortnite tournament, nice. Hi, Fortnite. Shut up. You're not my kitty. No, you're not a real kitty. You're a beast. You're a little wild animal, aren't you? Aren't you? What? What you want? Chin rub? You want scratch scratch? Astro the web framework? No. Math though, you don't understand, man. I have to work. I have to work as hard as I can. Jack, why do you think the Bible is a, a book that anybody should be reading? Other than it's, I mean, it's a good book, but do you really think it, it is spiritually endowed by some supernatural being? Oh, next. Yeah, I know next. Of course, everyone knows next. Line here said you were just chilling. Mm. Yeah, just chilling. I'm stream. I'm streaming. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. That's cool. I'm just. You're part of the stream now. <laughs> uh, appreciate the courtesy. I just said you're streaming right now. Yeah. Uh... Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't see a stream. Is it on Twitch? Come on, Kate, get out of here. You got Twitch mm. and... Oh, okay, I'll fix my hair. It's going to be on Twitch. Here. Oh, I see. Mm. I see the kitty. 
You do your show today, Mr. Joe? Did you make your uh, dinner? So, oh, okay. Or I guess maybe not on the weekend. What do you think? To, to go over some Joe House. Is it Joe Baus? Is that what you said on your stream? Oh, God, I, was, I thought it was an H. I'm going to need some Joe Baus uh, experience here and turn this portfolio around. All right. I'm messing with you. Yeah. I'm only, I'm only down five. It's been a good couple of years since that happened, huh? Since they had to turn someone's whole ship around, as you put it. Too many hours in Rust. on rest right now but i gotta download the five five you gonna come on rest Not working right now. I'm relaxed. I don't know, going outside and partying. I'm too old for that. Depends on who's around, though. I can be convinced. Better be a good party.
Hey, what's up? I'm not really into electrical engineering. I'd like to learn it someday. Um, you guys see um, Ghostface Killers, a dead be dead. What's up, Kartoffschlacher? I think AI might be even bigger. Prison was okay. Food and beverages. Not a bad industry. Sure, why not? I don't think I can make AI songs or AI music or rap. I'm not sure. Completely self-reliant. Ah, I don't know about that. Not too important. Tips to better retain information. Rep repetition's kind of the only one that's... Repetition and mnemonics, or associative memory. <sighs> yeah, the chord thing was definitely... Cold call in the biotech hedge fund. Tough one. I would do it on Twitter.
learn a lot of stuff. People are impressed when you know a lot of stuff. Well, when I said investment opportunity, use that investment opportunity. I think it's it's a. Uh, I think I think that AI is going to change the way we work and, and we communicate and do things like that more than the internet did. But I'm not sure if it's a great investment opportunity. That's a totally different question. There's a lot to investing that's fairly complicated. That it's not simple to just say because the technology is important that it's necessarily an investment opportunity. That's not always true.
a game called Rust. One of my favorite video games. It might be the best video game I ever played. But it's still just a game. into a box and it'll automatically put in an electric furnace and then it takes out whatever's cooked and puts in the okay. other box. It's on the uh, third floor.
here. Emails Martin at martinscrawley.com. That's, you guys saw my house in Rust? Pretty cool, right? Tom, Tom, Tommy. Okay. Oh, I love you.
so sad. No, oh, you're so sad. Oh, I love you too. Sorry, one sec. I had to like put put in my headphones. Oh, good. I mean, my golf is all right. Yeah, we got raided. Oh, what? really? No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna, I was gonna joke around with Amar and thought you were gonna be on, in oh, on it for at least God. like thirty I seconds. Have, I, there's like a good chance you could have seen me cry. I'm being dead serious. Really? No, maybe not. I'd be like, no! I'd be like yelling and stuff. Dude, that furnace thing you made is awesome. Um, did you see the switch? No, I didn't. Oh, there's a switch that turns it off. So. Wow, we have a lot of high flow. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, set up lights soon. One guy goes. So then you have to like. I got 5k uh, hours in rust. I'll carry you. If you carry me on day trading. <laughs> I yeah, got 4k. That, like, that I got 4k. One, that one girl person like named me as New Jerry. If you want to hop on, you can. I don't. His light lets go. I just don't. I, I, I have a I have a trust issue. Yeah, we have huh? trust issues, dog. Especially on rust. <laughs> Talking to me? No, no. No. Oh. Bro, I'm so mad. I was in tunnels, right? Yeah. Or at the tip of it, kind of. This guy was coming up the elevator. I threw my grenade. But then I just hit, and then I hit like a thousand ping, and I, and I just log off the server. I was like, screw Martin, you miss it. Some guy was crouching up to you when you were in that cactus, and I killed him, and he had a full inventory of wood and stone. Mm. I feel like the people on the server are just like weird. Like they just don't care about their loot. They're just like full send. Our neighbors went to a small oil small oil rig. They're there right now. I'm gonna wait for him to come back. See if I can make a play. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I'm gonna run. If we get on early tomorrow, I'm gonna run oil in the morning. And there's 40 pop. That's the only chance I have. Go for it, dude. I can't believe we actually had a chance of getting that AK. Only if we had ladders, Apollo. That guy was terrible. You're actually beaming, bro. I can't believe you double headshot him. Straight beamer. Mm -hmm. Once I got banned on this server, because I thought I was hacking. Yo, Mario. Yo. Uh, can I, can I show you this thing you made? Cause it's really cool. So like, I'll take this out for a second, and follow me. Oh yeah, I ran tunnels with a crossbow. It was terrible. So you put stuff in this right chest, yeah, and that's then it the automatically point. goes into these furnaces. And if you look at the ore in the box, look, it starts to go down. And then the cook stuff will come out in the left box. That's so cool. Is it magical? No, that's really cool. I love doing engineering. Or electrical. Once I got yeah. invited to a clan just to be their electrician man. All right, troops, we're going to keep these doors closed at all times. See too many I'm open doors. in this server. There's 14 people ahead of me. I'm seeing way too many open doors. I don't like that. If somebody wants to raid us, we want it to be difficult. We're making these. Yes, we do. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I'm a Zerg leader. Zerg. Z E R G. We run this. Yes, sir. Goddamn Zer. Every server we represented. I don't want anyone to be playing. And not being dominated by us. Yo, Yeah. I was running um tunnels earlier for like a compound bow. I got like 500 scrap off it from just doing the main outpost tunnel and like those little 
You know the like stops like midway, like going mm -hmm. to another station? Yeah. I did that, I got like 500 scrap and stuff. I was kind of thinking, it's like, and it was high pop, so I was kind of like, that's how I researched the electricity and stuff. You could like do that. I mean, not right now, but it's kind of uncontested over. It's pretty good. I say by tomorrow we can craft tier 3. You got an idea? That's a goal. A good goal? Yeah. Squad goals? Yep, yeah, we got goals. Can someone, like, tell me what Jerry is, though? Because I'm, like, put as new Jerry. Uh, Jerry was a kid that was in our server a long time ago who was, like, really young. And on Discord, you're supposed to be 18 or whatever. You know, obviously, we make an exception. On, Dis on Discord? Uh, on our Discord, yeah. Oh, okay. But you seem cool, kid, you know. Make an exception. Yeah, I got some like DM from someone that says I'm fifteen. It's kinda uh, sus. Yeah, you gotta be careful. A lot of creeps, <laughs> a lot of creeps on the internet, kid. You gotta be real careful. A lot of creeps out there. Oh shit, boys. Fuck! I'm down. Scientists? Why the fuck I'm Martin yeah, Shkreli, right. don't oh you fucking God, dare. I run this shit, you know who I am, Martin Shkreli, I'm a big boss. Who the hell are you? I'm streaming right now on Twitch. <laughs> fuck it, Ow! Alright, do you wanna see it? I got a, a message request from OX Daniel C. Hey, I'm 15 and also... Oh wait, hold up. Hold up. Hey, I'm 15 and also in Martin's server. Good deal. Sneak attack. <laughs> Martin, hold up. I'll come with. I'll kill him. What do you have? A rock. I didn't have much. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. No, no. no I had a full inventory. I, I, I died. I'm on my way, though. With nothing. I told you not to fuck with me. And you fucked with me. It's Martin Shkreli. I run this shit. You understand me? I run this shit. Oh, yeah. There's Thompson up there. I want that. Hang on. Killed one. Oh my god, there's fucking three, dude. Yeah. And I'm getting, I'm getting killed by a dog. I'm gonna die. Is it the best when you uh when you're in a fight and the dog starts to attack you? Well, once I was like running into outposts with like a lot of loot and I almost I got killed by a dog. You fucked with like... us and you fucked with us and now you to pay the price. No, you don't understand. You can't kill me. The dogs What's are like so annoying because you like can't Team shoot five. them. Oh my gosh, I oh, hate I that know. guy. Okay, yeah, I know where they live. We could probably raid them. Oh, we're gonna raid them. I'm gonna stay up all night if I have to. My Discord keeps connecting, disconnecting. I gotta get my Mac. My Discord keeps disconnecting. We're definitely gonna raid them. If we gotta stay up all night, I'm gonna raid them. Let's get the, let's get the caffeine. Let's get the ADHD drugs. Let's do this. <laughs> let's go. They're looking for my SAR, but I dropped it. They're not gonna find it. Always in the barber shop. Guys, I didn't do the best at golf today. I I failed you. Actually, I kind of carried my team. You didn't get that par? Actually, no, 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 no. It's like a scramble, so we have like three people. And they put me in like the 14 to like 18 year old group. So I'm like getting carried the whole time. It's like crazy. Oh, by the way, I got a question. Yeah. I got a question. What if my friend was wondering if he could play with us? He's not getting inside because he's my IRL friend that goes to school with me. Sure. Is he a he's farmer? Less of a, he's less, yes. 
And he's actually, he's, he's got better aim than me, not gonna lie. Alright, that's what we need. You got a bedtime, yeah. kid? <laughs> His mom came in screaming at him uh, live in chat last night. Oh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Remind me of uh, when I was his age. Alright, he said he'll hop on right now. He's older than me, though. I know he's the same age as me. But. He's less of a squeaker than me, if that helps. He normally plays Rust console, like, over PC. I'm just like, why? Why? Plays Rust console? Mm hmm He picks console over PC. And, like... Can I invite him to the server? Get all your boys. <laughs> no, just him. Just him. We just need him. to focus so we can dominate. He's the only one that he's the only one that I know that like plays Rust PC. How do I add someone to the thing? You got to invite. Um. Uh, by chance, can you teach me how to do that, please? Um. Oh, invite people. I'm sped. Sorry. I sent. I think. Who is A O D T? Our friend. Oh, cool. Yeah, they didn't get my sorry. I dropped it in a bush. Nice. Keep the guns in the bush. I, I knew you guys good. would as love the automatic thing. I think it's W. As soon as that wolf started chasing me, I know yeah. it's dead. Oh yeah, that's K. You're gonna have to like... If you can give him the speaker thing. Pretty please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the whole squad on. And then I'll t tell me when you give it to him so I'll tell him to leave and rejoin. You know what we should do? We should get an auto turret and build like a bridge over the train track. That way when people like take a train over, the yeah, auto saw, turrets just kill them. I saw a video where this guy like built right over people, um, or like a train track yeah. going into, um, what is it called? Yeah, hang train on. Yard? Give, me, give me one second, give me one second. Sorry about that. Dude, what is up with these wolves attacking me? I'm literally about to make a play. I know. But they come after me from like a mile away. And then the funny thing is, they would HB the train. Alright, I think you gave it to him. I'll see if it works. Blame the game, not the player. Uh, his, his name is Dylan, by the way, if you want to call him by that. Here, let me see if he has the speaker thing. Not yet, I, I'm just in the middle of it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's alright. Hello, radiation poisoning ain't nothing to a G. Been in Ukraine before. Flush it out with this glass of water. I got, I got two people ahead of me. I'm about to get in. Alright, I'm about to make a play. Good deal. I see four, I see four dead gear guys. I need Fair to enough. get in. I gave your homie speaker. Alright, leave and rejoin. Hey! Up. See, he's less of a squeaker than me. Like, way less. I like how you use the word squeaker. Well, that's just what I get called a lot. <laughs> they, no, I like, that's the thing I like. When I got cashed out that one dollar, he's like, you're too much of a squeaker. I'm not playing with you. So that's just like what happened. I still got a dollar of that guy, so I'm, I'll take it. Oh, I'm loading in, I'm loading in, I'm loading in. 
Oh yeah, but he like he enjoys farming. He's better at me with the guns. Um, yeah, pretty much it. He likes farming. He oh he can he can build a base. He can he's good at building bases. We got that. I'm a base bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why the fucking lumps in me a house? Uh, I, I found where they live. We could easily rid this. Bro, Dylan, I can't believe you actually pick console rust over PC. It's actually crazy. I was yeah, well, gonna play with them, but then they just like... They're like, we got raided before I logged in. No. Nah, you gotta play PC now. You already switched. It's four swipe too. You like have to get on the four swipe. We're actually we have a good four swipe. We have tier two. We're actually pretty loaded. I got this automatic system going. The furnace. Everyone loves when I build those things. Like Apollo, he was like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know. It was so good. Apollo's actually really, he's really good at the game. Like Martin. But Apollo has like 4K hours. He's like 10 times better than me. The only thing I'm like good for is rubbing tunnels. And like, yeah, that's kind of about it. And building electrical. And he's like goading. Why is it like so silent? Bro, am I like cutting out like not hearing anything or am I like tripping? No one's talking. Oh. Maybe no one likes me. Why do people leave this dumb server? My oil base is still unrated. I'm taking that like early in the morning. Oh my gosh, I almost left the game. All right, you need me to do anything, Apollo? Uh, I'm gonna go. I put ladders on uh, Apple's base. He doesn't see him. Oh, they really? just went over the AK, so I'm gonna go TV, see if I can kill him. Hold up, let me kill myself so I can spawn in that bag and you give me one too. Actually, I'll just, I'll be fine with a water pipe. Well, I don't have water oh pipe PP, so. Why does sticky keys go on all the time? Alright, no worries. I'm ready to do my first door camp with the light. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey. Need 520 oh. scrap to reach a grenade. That's insane. What? No, it's Look. it's like so expensive. It's like cheaper to just go buy them. 30 gunpowder? That's like kind of a lot. That's like half a bean can. Like oh my gosh, he's actually smart. That's actually nah, smart. I don't, I don't want to do Like, I just it's need a grenade worth right it. now. I'd rather just like grub or... It's like eight scrap. Oh, do you got another double bro? You wanna bait them on the roof? Yeah, I'll just bring a crossy. Is there any arrows somewhere? Damn, who's the two year old? Oh Don't my me god. I, I, I knew it, I knew it, I literally knew it. I literally knew I'm it. Joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, that's This kid will wipe you on us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally knew it. I, I knew it. This is why this is why people call yeah. me a squeaker. He literally called me a squeaker. I, I didn't even expect it to happen, but I knew it was gonna happen this way. I got called a squeaker. Relax, kiddo. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be offended. <laughs> what? Yo, there's a hazmat guy hitting a tree next to our base. I'm coming up, coming up, coming. Where? 
What? I see it. Now let me get the first shot because I'm dead. Oh, you what? Was that our teammate? Oh no. Who? No, no, no. Was he loaded? Oh my god! He's actually kind of loaded. What the heck? There's like a hundred strap on him and stuff. Do you yeah, come to me? Huh? Uh, deeper that stuff and come to me. They took this one ladder down. We need someone to boost me. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of a lot. He was like building a base too, I think. Oh, a bag. I can bag um, Dylan in. Q is five people. Hey, this sucks. Why do you like prefer console over PC? I just do it because I like playing with like people. It's not the game. The game actually sucks. <laughs> the graphics give me a headache, but it's the people I play with. Which is why yeah. I play it. I like playing with like Evan and Steven. That's why I do that. Steven. Is Steven like actually really good though? Yeah. These doors yeah, closed. Steven. Why have like... garage doors if you're not gonna close them? No, I, I, I was depoing real quick and then I was gonna go straight out. I was depoing. I was insta depoing. I can't even depot. There's so much. If we're gonna win, we're gonna have to be militant about our operation. That's facts. I should listen to him more often. You know, I'm gonna take your words and remember that. Oh, there's like actually a little bird in that thing. All right, I'm on my way. Uh, are, are you still need a boost? Uh, I'm sitting at the front door right now. Oh my gosh, I hit him again. Actually, poor guy, I'm just gonna let him farm his tree. He needs to get a little base down. Oh, their base is so weird. We gotta organize a little bit better. Don't like what I'm seeing in these chests. Uh, he just, oh, that was that guy. Do you want me to crouch up? You have a hazzy on? Yes. That's what I got off the guy. So we're not like losing a hazzy. In a way. Bro, what is that? It's like a... F dude, he's one shot, dude. <sighs> I missed! I missed! Oh, we could add AK. No, their teammate was on the roof. His teammate got on the roof after I like. I gotta figure out how we're gonna be able to. I wish I had Tommy. If I had Tommy, I could kill these kids. Yeah, facts. Bro, give me like a DB slug. I'm gonna murder him. I don't, I don't know if Slug's like researched. Oh, yeah, that's true. Slugs are nerfed. I know, but still. I mean, if you're close, it's it does like a little bit less, but it's still good. If you hit off the one too, they're, he's gone from distance ish. Do we have slugs in here somewhere? Oh, one player head. I could have sworn, I could have sworn we had. Um, Look at them talking shit, shit on me in chat. Uh, huh? Oh my gosh! Like all the pipes are like disappearing. Honestly, I don't even care though. I like bring something we don't care. Can I bring a revolver? I don't think I'm ever gonna run with a revolver. I mean, they're Where not. Where did the rope go? Oh, I found it. Do y'all mind if I take a revolver? I mean, I don't like. Re I don't think we use revolvers. Nah, let's do it. Someone's outside the base. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go check up on the furnace anyways then. Actually, I can't pass it. Actually, no, I'll go with you. You can go on the roof. Oh my well, God. no, okay, come on, come on. Come on, let's just go out this way. You uh, go out first. Bullets. You go out first. I got a revolver! <laughs> Alright, you ready? Good luck. I'm going to again. Ah! Oh! Alright, there's no one we're chilling. Bro, it's so annoying, because we're just going to, like, kill... I'm going to kill one, or we're going to kill one, and then I'm just going to get on the roof of the AK. Put it. Put the revolver away. Always carry it on your hip. And then when you see him pull it out, they see you with the gun, they're going to shoot you right away. They're not going to see the revolver. I'm sorry. They'll see it in, if it's in your hand. That's actually facts. These are street lessons as well, Ross. <laughs> we learned it from Lamron and them. Hi, we got to put you in. What was that? I'm my mic, I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm not on TRT. What's that? Testosterone. Can I get bagged? I'm in. Yeah, give me one second. My stay crouch, stop, 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 stay crouch. Yeah, I never get anyone following me on Friday night. All the, all the professionals and adults are doing something else. <laughs> You have sad scream in your mic? Scream? It, well, hang on. I I don't want them to hear the ladder, because I got to place a ladder to go up. We need okay. something loud. Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Well, if you, you don't, you don't, I know. Well, they just heard that. They just heard that. Don't we just yell, come in here and find me like a man. Something like that. Okay, I'm just going to yell, okay? Okay. Oh, you better get over here. You're being so annoying. You ain't even out here. Like, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here and fight me like that. You be so annoying. Like, be out of here and me with me. Get on your, your side of your roof and AK. Come down here if you're a bitch. I didn't get out of here. Bow, bow. Be quiet, be quiet. You sound like you're like 30 or 40 years old with that. That's so good. I, sorry, I literally sorry. didn't hear that. You're... <laughs> Ear assault. That was actually so. Hide, hide, hide. Stay left. Stay left. There's a guy right there. Here, you peek first. Check, that was check, so check, good. check. Yeah, it works. Shoot him, shoot him. He's not peeking anymore. Probably thinks I'm like an AK guy. Actually, I'm. <gasps> oh, he's just roof camping. Oh. Hold up. All right. As soon as we, if we get AK or a gun like that. There's an AK guy right beneath us. He's thinking. You're about you're gonna off. take the AK, and you're gonna sprint <clears throat> off. You're gonna give you're gonna leave your double barrel, and I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna hold it. Okay. All right. Is he shooting at you? Is this guy? Is that guy oh. part of the space? Pick. Hang on, hang on. How many wolves are there in this game? Pick me up. I got you. I'm picking you up. All right. I'm not. Crouch, you crouch. Oh, dude, I could hear that. They know. That screen though. I love. He's outdoor. Two of them. Two of them. Back up a little bit. Oh, did he close? Yeah, he closed. Dang it! I got a bag next to there. Maybe I shouldn't have shot. Hell yeah. Hell Was yeah. That... What? Why are you talking saying like that? randoms? Not off to a great start. <laughs> Spencer, can you bag me? 
Later. Hold on. I got, I'm like door camping somewhere. Hey, can I get the Revy? 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 On the ground, I did. Look on the ground. That is facts. Here. Oh. Here, take this. Follow. Here, pick up the Revy. Pick up the Revy. Pick up the Revy. Apollo, pick up the Revy. No, I don't want him here. Making There's a hazy guy outside. Hazy guy outside. Come up with the revy. There's a hazy guy out here. Where? I don't know. He's around there. His boots clanking. Yeah, killed a guy with a crossy. He can, you can hear my echo. Oh. Yeah, you gotta put, you gotta maybe turn down your volume. Me? Me? No, no, uh, sad note, not out. My volume? Yeah, cause we can, I like, it's like when you listen to my, that song I produced, like I could hear it. I'm not listening to it anymore. I know, I know, yeah, but I, I can hear my voice. He's talking about before. Hemogen's still on the server. Hemogen? They're not ever gonna open, bro. They're so scared. Yo, look at them in chat crying. Kinara Base can't do anything right now. I have a double barrel, bro. It's alright, I'm spreading the word to free lamb on them. They're stealing, they're adding more. They're <laughs> so mad. Oh my gosh. Tommy for 200 cloth. Actually? Yeah. T17. Where? Where? T17. 
Tommy for 200 cloth. I have like base. See that? P17. And then a SAR for 250. There is no P17. You're on the wrong server. T. Oh, T. T17. I got 100 cloth on me right now. <laughs> That's actually a good deal. The 250 for a SAR. They're probably like one health. Yeah, but it's still a gun. Free my boy, Lamar. <laughs> oh, crap. What? <laughs> no Lamar, too. Right Where do y'all live? Spencer, where do y'all live? It's like door camping, like gay kid. Hey, they're about to open, they're about to open. <laughs> yes, flashlight, they're opening. Oh, they have a, they have a truck, they have a, don't, don't, they have a, um, oh. tier two there. No chance they still died, right? They have a tier two separating themselves. Nice. All right, there's a guy coming, guy coming. Guy coming, guy coming up ladder. I'm the first one. You pick me up, bruh. Cause gay. My username's SMG body. Really? Yeah. Why is it SMG body? people off when they die. <laughs> I don't know why it just does. Can easily raid that. It's a garage door or it's a double door, garage door. Honestly, at that point, you just go through the top, as you know. Alright, type in the chat. I upload four. Alright, I gave it to SD body. It's not insta, but oh well. 
I'll just wait. What's C4? I don't have C4. Car base, I'm not on house arrest. Insider is. Never heard of it. Yeah. Don't don't do it in. No, and we're doing, yeah, doing the Discord numbers. Yeah, that's one digit off from my code. What's the code? <coughs> my code's 9532. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. We don't that's say that out loud. Right? Not like the red. That's not what I meant. I don't care if y'all know my code. Bro, I could actually raise that. I'm gonna play console rust so I can code raise that. No, never mind, that's not my code. Wait. Yeah. No. I'll tell you what it is. 9632. Uh -huh. I have like eight codes that vary in between, so I don't care. Y'all know one of them. I just cracked up random codes at the time. Did you cook the I crude oil? We had like 300 some crude oil. It's not there. Yeah, I've been putting down. What'd you say? I've been putting a bunch in. I've been farming like a maniac. I know, I found the crude. The new sheet metals. Bro, we, we got 528 crude. It's a lot. Call it Exxon yeah, Mobile. Act really cool. Call that Exxon. Oh shit. Just spray paint it. Single handedly gonna bring down these gas prices on Rust. Joe Biden That's helping so you out. Cool. See that, the new clip of uh, Joe Biden tripping and falling? No, I haven't seen it. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Oh, a little mousey. We got a little mousey. Yes, we do. did kind of quit League of Legends. I can't believe it actually took me like an hour to just process how I was dead when I spawned in. Because I got, because I got So, Nolan, over the years, yeah. He's live sharing.
Yeah, where are you at? You get the invite? Yeah. Trap. We gotta take it to bullets out. Should I ask for their traps? It's my bad. Is that, is that where the dollar came from in Cash App? No, that's like from a different guy. Morbid C. the new Spider-Man movie on TikTok Live. Are those cheese? Those things are less bro. Those are good. Stop advertising on my channel. This guy. This guy's just leaking the new Spider-Man movie. Rocket League? <laughs> I'll send it to you, Spencer. <laughs> no, it's TikTok Live. He's just playing the movie. <laughs> Wait, it came out? Yeah, it came out oh today. Oh my gosh, he can get sued for that, too. Or send it to me. I just sent it to you. <laughs> Yeah. 
On your TikTok, I sent it to you. Or just don't believe me. I can't, because you can't. Wait, maybe I can. Just tell me the streamer and I'll just search it up. Sleep when I'm gone one. Space? The, the name goes hard. No. Space? No, no spaces. All one word. Space. Sleep when I'm gone one. Sleep when I'm fucking gone. Let's go. God, we're loaded. What the hell? I'm TC. Yeah, I did. Oh, we have a lot of materials. What the heck? That's not. Is that really the new one? Try yeah. Inside me, I find you IRL. That's the rules. Uh, I will find some IRL. I actually been to prison, so you're too young. To go. You're too young to have gone to prison. You actually gone to prison. Go ahead. Tell your tell your plant yep, parents you're playing. Tell your parents you're playing a game with a fucking criminal. <laughs> Do you care if I use the spray can and skin your stuff? Fucking criminal. Nah, do whatever you want. I have to pay to do that. The doors and stuff. Get, like the doors and boxes. I would make the walls of Adobe, but you have to pay for that. Ooh, Adobe. Adobe's that, Adobe's well, good. The new, the new Is it stronger? It's like a stone skin. I've seen it. It's like stuck The shipping out. container looks so good. It can Oh, hold on. It, do it does look uh, aesthetically pleasing. Can skin people's bags. No. Oh, oh. Right, turn on the elevator. Click the elevator. Oh, no. No. Like, like, you, you can do this, Screlly. Alright, you can talk now. They're, of course they're running up the stairs, bro. That's why they're dead. I just take the elevator. Do this, Scrawly. Yo, so I saw like four Hazzy guys, and they shot at me, and then just turned around and left, and they were all running together. I see a guy in a car, and I told him, yo, there's four Hazzy guys this direction. And he just ran them all over with his car. Killed them all. <laughs> we gotta get a car. Take it down. Mm. Alright, hang on, I'm here. I'm gonna buy some. I can only buy one grenade. I got four. Alright, right, it's fine. We got time. It's fine, I know. They're gonna go back down though. It has ladder skins in the game. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, come. Let's go down. Alright, what should I do? You 
you can come here if you want. If we kill these guys, it's gonna be a lot of loot. Should I bring anything or just go naked? Yeah. Just come naked. It's fun. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Just don't throw it until it's going up. Okay. Yeah. No, no, right here, right here. This is where we wait. No, it's this one. I'm telling you, dude. I know it's this one. No, you don't. Bro, it's this one. Trust your elders. This this is it, I'm telling you. Don't disrespect us. Man. I'm telling you, I'm at the right one. This is a perfect one because, or else the grenades not it's gonna blow up before it hits the ground down here. This one, the grenade drops all the way down. That way, when they get down there. Um, what the deuce? Hello. Yo, what's up? Hey, dude. Uh, I just been. What the hell y'all playing, bro? Russ. For real. For real, for real. Oh, oh shit, you're live on Twitch. Why? May as well go for the play. Just have some grenades. Hey Martin, have you ever heard of Noob Dog? He's no. like a Rust content creator who wants to work with you. Oh nice, yeah, I'd love to play with him. I'll, uh, I'll hook you two up. He's a good friend of mine, he's pretty big. Oh sweet. Game. It's very intelligent, I think. Yeah, it's really fun. I, uh, 
I really think it's cool when me as a grown man get bullied by a 12 year old outside of my own base and they uh, lock me inside. <laughs> no, not you. But, uh, you know, it's rust, so it happens often. That never happens to me because I'm too smart. I'm too crap. Mm, okay. <laughs> so. What servers do you like to play on? Uh, Rusty Rats, uh, Restoria. Like, uh, 10Xs, Vanilla, Twix? I like to play, um, Monthlies. That's my jam. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Monthlies are the best, dude. A long-term mindfuck. <laughs> yeah. But it's, dude. uh, it's very, uh... Time consuming. I mean, the more time you put in the game, the more uh, into actually, the more time you put into a wipe, the better your chances of success are. I mean, if you play yeah. all day, you will dominate any map. I mean, it's like it's really not. Sure. Um, it, well, I mean, if you have a t completely shit strategy, you won't. But like, as long as you're not an idiot, you know, and if you play all day, you will beat any any competition. Yeah, you'll probably be at least at like T2 guns and shit. Because, you know, you just get the. You can make a base that's, you know, quite indestructible and all this stuff. I don't know how it is. We've got tech trash. Military crate lying around. Nice. Rate, whatever. Yeah, military crate. Yeah, another one. Camera. Recycling the camera. Nice. Yeah, more tech trash. <laughs> Yeah, I used to play uh, Minecraft Factions, which is basically just like Minecraft Rust. And then that kind of dwindled out. And then I got a PC. Well, I got like a better PC and I got Rust, and it was like basically the same thing. Been playing since. Oh, yeah. There's just no other game like Rust. Like, people can argue Arc, oh, yeah. right? But like, Arc like, fell off. Like, Arc, Arc, like, I think it looks boring, yeah. About the snowball. Turn my turn my headphones up. I'm about the snowball. I'm about to go from this double barrel. I'm about to go off. Take off. Let's go. Oh shit! My voice disconnected. Oh my god! I swear to God, I played up a guy on a 20x last wipe. Name guy named Matt on from this one. <laughs> I'm about to take Yeah, this I'm about to snowball. Turn my headphones You think up. so? Turn my headphones up. Let's go. Uh, he's an RS. He's M A T T dot O X. I mean, space O X. You make music? Yeah, I make I produce beats. I rap a lot. Yeah, Martin's a. Uh, Martin's got a couple platinum records. Grammy award winning producer and rapper and overall entertainer artist. This the 
Y'all hear it? Ow. Rest in peace, take off. But I'm about to take off. Let's go. Apollo on the beat. Uh oh, mom's coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't wanna go to did it. Is that for real? Now I hear it. Mute it, mute it, mute it. <laughs> We're getting raided by mom. Pause it, pause it. Huh? You have to go to tennis at 9.30 p.m. What else do you play? You play golf and tennis? Oh. <laughs> Damn, this kid is rich. Sucks, Spencer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> kind of also, his, mom, his, mom, his mom came into his room did, earlier today and she was like, what kind of sushi do you want? And I was yeah. like, yep, they have money. When I was a kid, there was no golf, tennis, or sushi. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the area we live in? Yeah. Called the rich area. The burbs. Like I'm there's the burbs free too. tennis courts in the area we live in. There's you know what they had really my you know what they had that was loved. great in my neighborhood. They had great crack houses. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Great crack houses. Great trap houses. You know what a trap house is? They had great homeless shelters, really good shelters, good halfway houses. A couple of basketball courts for real, broken, broken basketball courts. <laughs> Dope spot, themes, all that stuff, that's what we had. All your parents are playing video games with Scrally. <laughs> 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 it's the last games we're ever to play together. <laughs> you can lose all your privileges. <laughs> Kid, what can you do? <laughs> what? Nothing. Do girls never get one banned because pick the fights with the wrong people. You gotta know who to respect in this life. You know what I mean? You gotta know who... Who's gonna put you in the snow. <laughs> in the fucking snow. There's no way Tamujin still plays in this server. He's <laughs> like, does that other dude play on the server? Who we live oh. by? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't trust Duke Durrell. That's not what I'm saying. How long do y'all sit here before anything happens? It'll happen soon. There's usually one every 30 minutes. It's like a 20 person queue. I don't think they can hear this, like, eight stories down. Yes, they can. They, yeah, they can. Tunnels, like, they have, like, reverb or echo in it or something. Turn up my reverb. Turn that shit up. Three days of that sex, I feel like dying. <laughs> Hello, chat. No sound on it now. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Oh, is that part of the music or actual music? Probably part of the booby. Oh, yeah, 
rather see it in theaters. No, I was not bullied as a kid. I saw that Elon Musk was, apparently. Isn't that crazy? He once went to the hospital. Who's on top now? Yeah. Apparently it, like, really affected him. Spencer, he's talking to the people in his chat. Plays Rusty Mace US Mondays and yeah, his life is sad. That's Pog. What the hell is Pog? Play the game. That's player. Oh, is that what Pog means? Play the game. P.O.G.? I think so, yeah. P.O.G. I thought Pog well, isn't Pog, you your mom like, Pog, Pog came from PogChamp on Twitch. Like, it was the email called PogChamp. Yeah. Spencer, you can just call your mom no. Or you can tell your mom no. No one's selling Thompson. No, there's one selling for two fifty four. Yeah, it's not reachable by drone, I should buy there. Mari, get out of train yard. All the gear guys are gonna be going there. Springs. I may buy that ladder hatch for 650. We kind of need that. There's a Tommy shop for four springs. Where? 19. Yeah, it's like 120. Yeah, it's 113. P19 is. Four springs for a Tommy. It's kind of high. I'll do three. I may, I may do that. We got a lot of springs. Do we? Yeah, we got like, I think, 25. I didn't really analyze the boxes. How are we doing on the gun department? Well, all right, I have SAR BP, and I can make a SAR whatever I want. Oh, I love SAR so much. All right, this is getting tedious. No one coming. They may have taken the guys that were down here. They may have take. They may have bought like a scrappy or something. Maybe it's because of the train yard. That's why no one's here. I hear you watching the stream. Sad not have.
I hear you watching the stream. What stream? stream. Wally 1K does not stream. It's blazed. Spencer. It's a two by two. Python or C plus Well, Python's a lot easier to learn. So it's better for beginners. For Python deep. probably at this point has a richer set of libraries for things. C plus plus difficult. It's very good for Windows programming and machine programming, servers and things like that. Not too useful. Not as useful in the modern day that we. a lot. Sean for two diesel. It's a terrible deal. Actually, you just go to Junkyard and get a free Python. Come on, guys. Let's go. Why is no one here yet? Too long. The second we leave, there's gonna like the second we get to the top, there's gonna be people about to walk in. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. Let's see if we can go make a play a train yard with these grenades. That was a real fun adventure. Ginger. What about a ginger? What? It's an adventure. I'll get right on my mic. Please don't do that. Think she's gonna pull the plug? <laughs> like the electric? Like she's just gonna turn off the electric in your house? Oh. Your mom's mad because you don't wanna go to tennis. <laughs> Why can't go to tennis, mommy? I shot. Oh shit, I'm getting sniped. Yo. Yeah, I said to stay away from train yard. Chinook's there. I'm dodging him. I'm dodging him bullets. Sorry, what? What's that? You don't know what's studying me. You got in front of us? Hang on, this door's open. Is it? That's a 
survived. Please, 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 please. Please stand up, stand up. You just gotta stand up. Is there anything? Hang on. I may be able to go deep here. Dude, all their shit is, all their doors are open. Are you in? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not in. I, I, ju I literally just need to go through one more door. I just got stuff, bro. I have a weapon. You boost me. You gotta, you gotta get off. I hear your dad in the background, dude. Just get off. You better get off. Boost me. Back up, back up. If he sees you, he's not gonna close his door. I don't think they're... No, why would you do that? Then they'll know we're in here. I think they can hear us. Just a thought. You gotta back up, Hap. They're gonna see you. Do y'all know these guys, or there's a random? I was thinking we could soft side. It would take too long, though. No, I may go make satchels and blow this door. Yeah, stay here. It's literally all open. I see the inside. I'm literally leaving. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. What is she gonna do? Those AK shots are close. Yeah, it's that train yard. That makes sense. Almost. I know they have stat or they have stars in this drone. Oh, did a ladder. I'll bring it. Hello, my sidekick. Yeah. Hey. Alright, I'm coming. Come on, SMG. I need you to boost me. I have a ladder.
Do you have Python, Apollo? Yeah. Give me one sec. Just let me, uh... Bo radio is insane. It does not do five damage. It was definitely a wood door. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Who's throwing? I'll throw if you want me to. If if you have the gun, I'll throw. Someone's got to watch front door. Uh, here, 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 here. Left door, left door. Okay, our locked door? Left door, the left one. Move. I, I know what you're talking about. Watch out, watch out. Oh, it's a crisp one. No, bro, just, just throw them all, throw them all. Go, throw his hat. Throw all of them on that door. Left door. Yeah, nice. Keep going. Oh, I need to get back in. Don't, 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 don't. It's fine. Watch the door. We're in, we're in. I'm watching, um... Full deep, full deep! Hard. Come in, come in, come in, loot, 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 loot! Good loot or just stuff? No, no, good loot, good loot. Was the hole. I'm on my way. This is me pulling up. Wait, you died? Please, I got blown up by the side, so I thought it was the last one. Who's Not coming roof. up? Who's coming up? This is me, this is me. They're coming out. They're coming out. The neighbors outside. Okay, get in, break bags. I watch door. Break bags and get a door down. Break that. Break bags, get a door down. Get door. I'll break bags. I'll try to cover. We don't have TC though. So we don't have TC. Oh. There's a code locker here. I'm on my way to you guys. Let's see what this fuck. All right, all right. Going. We we just raided inside this base. Tell me when you come up to the door, Martin. I'm on my way. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm dropping fire arrows down here. Beyond. Yeah, yeah. Fire the TC. 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 Give it to me. I got eyes on the base. No, dude. Don't throw an F1. You're going to kill him. Just shoot the nades on top of the TC. Shoot the fire arrows on top I of the TC. I see guys outside. I see guys outside. Killed one. Nice. Come up, come up and loot. Come up and loot. There are boys outside. Yeah. They had Sammy's pickle. Respawn. Loot, dude. So just seal, guys. It's not that hard to seal. There's nothing to seal with. Break TC. I don't know why you didn't break TC right away. Oh, there's fire. What are F1s going to do to a TC? Is it over? On my way back. They're throwing nades in on me. They gave me two. I don't have any. Shoot it. Shoot it. I'm throwing a Thompson on the ground back here. Shoot it. Okay, I'll get it. I'm dead, guys. Oh my god, dude. Spencer, he's coming in. Bro, we have no seal. Like, I don't understand how hard it is to seal a raid. There's nothing in it. I don't know why you couldn't break TC though. You shoot the fires on top. 
And then, I did. That's it. I shot too. It did 20 damage. Those are the guys you are messing messing with, countered. They they live right next door and they're lying. It's a five man and they're allying with another like three man. You know exactly. Three man. Huh? Well, like that's not allowed in the server rules. Like they have too, they have too many people. Yeah, they should be getting yep. banned. Took way too long though. Honestly, someone else should have been holding that front door with me too. Python, see if I can make a play. But yeah, for the most part, right now, yeah. I say GG, and the neighbors go, What the fuck do you mean GG? I was like, Bro, just say GG. <laughs> 2500 a month. I couldn't even afford my weed bill with that. <laughs> That's just weed alone. Apartments are six K a month. Right, Kitty? My girlfriend's another six K a month. No, I've never tried shrooms. Are they on are they on the roof? out there baby so the python can't too much about 18 months i think i can be in manhattan again trenches right now. We in Vietnam right now. Lamar on the roof. Kill DK on roof. Kill DK on roof. I'm dead, dude. Wow. They have so many, dude. They have like five. Cheating?
<laughs> just get off, Hap. Hap, just get off, dude. It's fine. We'll play tomorrow. <laughs> Tom, you're not going to play tennis. Tom, you're not doing golf either. You're smoking weed with Scrawly. <laughs> playing with the straight criminal. Alright, Mom. Where is their base? I'm trying to find their base. I'm like running around. Uh, yeah, it's right around where you are. It's like bottom F10. Oh, I see it now. I see the boys too. He's on the roof. I see it, bud. You know what's funny? I went over there and I was like, you guys are literally a five man on mini. And they go, dude, we're only two people. <laughs> they were dead serious too. I'm trying to hide the fact that they're a five man. Yo, Martin. Uh, by the way, I made the. I made like a plan slash, uh, like, uh, objective slash strategy graph thing for uh, the Twitter. Thing. By the way, I'm kind of pissed right now, so fuck if I'm a vision player. Hey, mister. Hey, this hey, is Martin hey. Shkreli. I'm the boss. You know who I am? I'm streaming right now. Hey, Martin. You guys are causing me a lot of trouble. Hey. I pay a lot of money to my soldiers, what you understand? You? I pay a lot of money to these soldiers. Sir, yes, sir. Are you, are you with sex? Are you with sex? A what? Oh yes, hey, yes. I'm you? the boss of that. I'm the Zerg leader. Hey, who is that? Zerg Who's boss that? Screlly. Can you like assassinate him while he sleeps? Yeah, so can you, can you call him the the I don't think you understand. My name is Martin Screlly. I'm on Twitch right now. I'm one of the biggest bosses. <laughs> All right, Mario Valone, MP5. All right, you want to do that? <laughs> you want to do it like that? We're gonna do it like that. All right. He just like listening to you and just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna offline raid them tonight. Big fucking mistake. 4 a.m. offline raid. Nah, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Me too. I raided them last night. My game. Apollo. This is a terrible. Yeah. Game. N18. Huh? Sar for 175 scrap. Say it again. Sar for 175 scrap. <laughs> N18. I can grab SAR. Yeah. I you want some SARS? I would like oh. some SARS. Alright, I'll grab some right now. Is there AK MP5 monitor for that raid? Yeah, dude. It sucks, but glad we tried. Did you take the main stuff? Nah, dude, I couldn't. I couldn't leave there. Right outside of the uh, door, as soon as we started, as soon as we got in. No, I mean, like, did you take anything from the boxes before? Yeah, dude, I, I had like uh, two rows of guns on me. Actually. Two rows of guns. Yeah, yeah, I had like two rows of guns on me. That's why I was so stressed about you guys getting TC down and sealing. Like, I was watching that door for it seemed five minutes, and TC still wasn't yeah, broken. What would you guys do? You didn't deliver, you let your soldier down. Damn it. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not stressed. Mistakes were made. What's funny is all, the, all that loot and the loot that they're shooting at us with on the on the roof right now, it's gonna be ours. That's so. true. That's true. I'm gonna... I don't know, yeah, I don't know how late you guys are staying up, but I'm gonna blow through door on roof. Uh, this is if they don't upgrade. Blow through roof, it's gonna be no, it's gonna be a garage door. So that's 13 satchels, and then it'll probably be... It'll probably, it'll, it'll, it's gonna be a lot of satchels. Honestly, we may want to focus on getting a tier three. Um, I'll be up for another few hours. I'm making like seven stars right now. Disrespecting me. That means I'm gonna hire some Thai, Bangladesh, and Indians to play. And we're about to play. You should track them down in real life. Why not? He said, Martin, don't you dare offline us. 
Do you see this? Are they in chat? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did he? Why did? He must have joined your stream. Yeah, he hears me now. We're coming for you. Better get ready. Do they know where we live? Yeah, they know me. Can you play with with me, you're not playing with a kid. You're playing with a man who's been to prison. Uh, you're playing with a man who's seen some I'm shit. This box. You're playing with a man who's sit down, bench, sat down with Hillary Clinton, George Soros, Barack Obama. You're playing with a real fucking boss. You understand me? Now play that track. Let's go. Uh. That's some real rap intro right there. Real boss talk. Only person I didn't meet is Jeffrey Epstein. A series of fortune events. Shit, I wasn't big enough for him. We need a big dog to start. A shit ton of ammo. I'm gonna go AFK for a little bit while it's crafting. Dropping this track on the whole server 9 p.m. <laughs>
<laughs> he signed a guy for 5k sulfur. What? <laughs> oh, he went AFK. <laughs> oh, it's Apollo. I think he was on Twitch, Apollo. Um, he said he signed you, signed you for uh, 5k sulfur. <laughs> Extortion. My beautiful thing. You want food? You might be hungry. Western culture? What? Hungry mama. I'll feed you. I'll get you some get you some salmon and some chewing. We were getting door camped. Yep, somebody's out there. <laughs> the pig clutched. <laughs> were we getting door camped? Yeah, and a pig ran up and clutched. So we had to shoot it. The pig killed him? <laughs> He had to shoot the pig, so now we're going to go to the door camp. So you're good? Yeah, we didn't lose him. Okay. I uh, put him on this box at the rear. Check right. the SAR skin. Yeah, SAR skin's nice. And I'll I have like Arctic suits and stuff. I'm going to get water. My little fur ball. She she's hungry. I can tell. Is it a cat? Yeah, Nibbles. Nibbles the cat. I like that name. <laughs> it's a dead pig. <laughs> hey, why are you door camping? I know you're in there, and I know SG body's a girl. Oh, I love girls. Oh, Martin, Martin. Martin, don't try that again, Martin. Martin, don't do that again. Sex, I know you're in there. Come on out. Who the fuck is that? Mario the guy who. Our boys. Uh, We're going to war, alright? We're going to war. That's right. Is that guy that is 5k hours still on your stream or not? Shooting at them on roof. Yeah. <laughs> I 
You're like flaming us, but you have to craft guns to get them. I don't get why people flame for crafting guns when that's how you have to get them. More in stocks in our base right now. They know they know the whole layout. Obvious the two by two. All I have to do is go on roof. <laughs> the server on Russ, are you guys on? We are on mini weeks. Martin, you get off or? Oh, no, I'm here. Hello, hello. I was gonna say you said uh you said we're going to war and then it looked like you logged off. Hell no, my uh uh <clears throat> my Discord keeps disconnecting. Uh, you gotta take my math. I think I think they're badass for door camping. <laughs> Dude, I was looking into stuff and there's this uh. There's this tool called Cran.ai and basically gives you like analytics and insights on uh, competitors in your field. Yeah, there's so many tools. I'll check it out though. Like I'm writing up a whole mock-up stuff. I'll send it to you probably mid tomorrow. I was planning on tonight, but now I kind of want to really read these guys. Oh, I see Hazzy guy outside. Yeah, he's there's two of them now. They're hazzy baiting with crossbows. Hey, buddy. What you think hey, you're doing? Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Let me give you this. Let me give you this, bro. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Thank you. Now, what are you doing outside my crib? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Those guys really don't like me, by the way, Martin. Like, I raided the fuck out of them last fight. You like this base layout? Yeah, fine. Hey, Makari, I was not telling you that Sex got gifted 50 rockets by Iron last fight. He got gifted rockets to raid us. He wasn't solo. He had a team up. And then we're to us. Shut the He's fuck clapped. up. I'm a boss. He's a freak that I'm a boss. I don't fucking play video games. You understand? Yeah. I'm not a fucking kid. I'm a CEO. Martin. Now shut the fuck up. Martin, touch me. Touch me, Martin. Killed one. There's a double barrel out the front door if someone wants to grab it. Primer on Down Hazzy. Hazzy's dead, 280, by the bush. On my way. Run 280. Yeah, it's right over there. It's just sad. Keep going, keep cool. going. I think they're cool for like door camping us like four deep. Keep going, you should be seeing it in a second. They're shitters. I won't get, I swear he hasn't blown his nose his whole life. Who, who's the, uh, what are our Call me for bags? four diesel at F-19. What'd you say? Which sleeping bags are ours? Uh, I don't have any outside. Don't around know. here. Tommy for four diesel, um, F-19. Guy creeping up with DB again, he's, I'll kill him. He's a uh, 300 beyond the stone yeah. node. I mean the metal node. Tell me if you see him. Yeah, I saw him. Starting to push up. As he 310. Is he pushing up? I saw him starting to come over. Is, is a, yeah, kind of. Look at him. Look at him. See if he shoots. Yeah. He's crouching up. He knows I see him. Those Here, guys, crossy, yeah. crossy, shoot him. Outside. 
going like west. I thought it was close, he had the back up. He's on the hill. Uh, T50. Probably gonna get louders. They may be playing the Raiders right now. <clears throat> what did I get? These guys may just be uh fucking around. They can hear everything we say too. Yeah. Yeah, they're stream sniping for sure. Can I get arrows? You must suck when you stream snipe and still lose. Oh, that's probably where they didn't push it. That sucks. I was just all to four at that point. Oh, I got his, uh, he's on my Twitch. <laughs> V-Lone on top. Sorry, bro, you fucking died. Oh, oh. That's his name? Yeah. No, he's Oh, dead. dude. They're on me, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me. Yeah, on me, he's, on me, on me. he's kissing. Oh, come here, he's dead. Oh, well, I headshot him. What the fuck? Alright, he's dead. Oh, uh, poor guy. What do you mean poor? They're trying to, like... Martin Shkreli on top. Martin Shkreli on top. Tell him. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not the right place for you to be. Do you understand? Vacate this premises immediately. Or I'll be forced to take... Action. What? Oh, shit. Oh. What the heck? No, my bad. I tried to rock him. I tried to shoot him on the ground. Get up. He's dead. Where's that has a guy at though? Take it this? was west, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go find ooh. Bandana, I'll take that. I'll watch over the hill to see if anyone comes. I wanna be toxic in this. Another thing about you shooting Martin is that they see our whole base layout. Fucking village. I'm pretty sure they live in the exact same base. Making a fucking village. That's the only thing I can do about that. Our base is probably better than theirs. They just have broken honeycomb. Oh, they're coming back. Ninja suit on me. Python. I'm upgrading the base right now. You're a dark killer! Yep. Yeah, that guy's the worst. He's Martin, talking. we already saw the base. Your base is not better. This is uh, Kural. <laughs> These guys are on the Twitch. This is the nerds. I'm a real fucking boss. Alright? Yeah, this is some nerds. Go to sleep. Fucking stop watching the stream. That's fucking cheating. I mean, how, that's not even fun. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You already a nerd in real life? And now you want to fucking watch the stream so you can fucking sneak up on me? It's like a double fucking nerdum. You're gonna play the game, you just fucking play fairly, you know what I mean? You're the kind of guy that puts the cheat code in. It's like, oh wow, this content is thrilling. <laughs> He's an actual gun this time, so watch out. Oh, they went to you? Yeah. I'm just gonna read my book, man. It's a waste of time. Why put I play if they can see me, but I can't see them? Oh. You care from talk like in chat? Do whatever you want. Oh, he's running back. Where? Where from? He's 165. He's running back to our base? He's running 250. He's where you killed the last guy. Oh, I'm headshot. 
top door is open. I don't know. Is garage door closed behind you? I'm not sure. Martin, if you can, spawn in. Close top door. Yeah, I just don't like to play the stream snipers. It's like... So, uh... These guys are like... So lame. Down bad. It's closed, I got it. Seem to say much. They're probably just watching the stream, seeing what we're gonna do next. and servers and things like this, but the world's changing. And what's happened with AI is we have new GPUs and new machine learning accelerators and other ASICs and things like that that make AI go real fast. At Google, I worked on TPUs. That's one of the biggest, largest scale deployed systems that exist for AI. Mm -hmm. And really what you see is if you look across all of the things that are happening in the industry, there's this new compute platform coming. And it's not just about CPUs or GPUs or TPUs or NPUs or IPUs or whatever, wow. all the PUs, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It's about how do we program these things, right? And so for software folks like us, right, it doesn't do us any good if there's this amazing hardware that we can't use. And one of the things you find out really quick is that having the theoretical capability of programming something and then having the world's power and the innovation of all the, all the smart people in the world get unleashed on something can be quite different. And so really where Mojo came from was starting from a problem of we need to be able to take machine learning, take the infrastructure underneath it and make it way more accessible, way more usable, way more understandable by normal people and researchers and other folks that are not themselves like experts in GPUs and things like this. And then through that journey, we realized, hey, we need syntax for this. We need to do the programming language. So one, one of the, the main features of the language I uh, say so fully in jest, is that uh, it allows you to have the file extension to be uh, an emoji or the fire emoji, which is one of the first emojis used as a file extension I've ever seen in my life. And then you ask yourself the question, why in the 21st century are we not using Unicode for file extensions? It's, I mean, it's an epic decision. I think clearly the most important decision you made the most, but, but you could also just use MOJO as the file extension. Well, so, okay, so take a step back. I mean, come on, Lex, do you think that the world's ready for this? This is a big moment in the world, right? This is, we're releasing this onto the world. This is innovation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really is kind of brilliant. Emojis are such a big part of our daily lives. Why is it not in programming? Well, and, and like you take a step back and look, look at what file extensions are right they're basically metadata right and so why are we spending all the screen space on them and all the stuff also you know you have them stacked up next to text files and pdf files and whatever else like if you're gonna do something cool you want it to stand out right and emojis are colorful they're visual they're they're beautiful yeah. right what's been the response so far from uh is, is there support on like windows on operating system yeah. in displaying like file explorer yeah, yeah. So they... the one problem i've seen is that git doesn't escape it right 
-huh. And so it thinks that the fire emoji is unprintable, and so it like prints out weird hex things if you use the command line Git tool. But wow. everything else, as far as I'm aware, works fine. And I, I have faith that Git can be improved. So I'm and not, so I'm not GitHub is fine. GitHub is fine. Yeah, GitHub is fine. Visual Studio Code, Windows, like all this stuff, totally ready. Because people will have internationalization yeah. in their normal part of their paths. So it's just like the next step, right? Somewhere between, oh, wow, that makes sense. Cool. I like new things, to, oh, my God, you're killing my baby. Like, what are you talking about? This can never be. Like, I can never handle this. How am I going to type this? <laughs> like, all these things. And so this is something where uh, I think that the world will get there. We don't have to bet all, the whole farm on this. I think we can provide both paths. Mm -hmm. But I think it'll be great. Uh, when can we have emojis as part of the code, I wonder? Uh, yeah, so I mean, lots of languages provide that. So um, I think that we have partial support for that. It's probably not fully done yet, but but yeah, you can you can do that. For example, in Swift, you can do that for sure. So an example we give gave at Apple was the do the dog cow. Yeah. So that's a classical Mac heritage thing, and so you use the dog and the cow emoji together, and that could be your variable name. But of course, the internet went and made pile of poop for everything. So, you know, if you want to name your function pile of poop, then you can totally go to town and see how that gets through code review. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let me just ask a bunch of random questions. Uh, so is Mojo primarily designed for AIs or is it a general purpose program? Yeah, good question. So it's AI first. And so AI is driving a lot of the requirements. And so, um, modular is building and designing and driving mojo forward and it's not because it's an interesting project theoretically to build it's because we need it and so at modular we're really tackling the ai infrastructure landscape and the big problems in ai and the reasons that it is so difficult to use and scale and adopt and deploy and like all these big problems in ai and so we're coming at it from that perspective now when you do that when you start tackling these problems you realize that the um, solution to these problems isn't actually an AI specific solution. And so while we're doing this, we're building Mojo to be a fully general programming language. And that means that you can, uh, obviously tackle GPUs and CPUs and like these AI things, but it's also a really great way to build NumPy and other things like that. Or, you know, just if you look at what many Python libraries are today, often they're a layer of Python for the API and they end up being C and C plus plus code underneath them. That's very true in AI. That's true in lots of other domains as well. And so anytime you see this pattern, that's an opportunity for Mojo to help simplify the world and help people have one thing. Mm -hmm. So optimize through simplification by having one thing. So you mentioned modular. Mojo is the programming language. Modular is the whole software stack. So just over a year ago, we started this company called Modular. Yeah. Okay. What Modular is about is it's about taking AI and up-leveling it into the next generation, right? And so... If you take a step back, what's gone on in the last five, six, seven, eight years is that we've had things like TensorFlow and PyTorch and these other systems. Yeah, I think programming is going to grow exponentially. Uh, I've used Cython, sure. My other weight. These girly weights. Yeah, I don't know. Software is still hard to make. Systems. Well, there's Mojo now from Chris, so. Just work hard, you'll be fine. You're not bad at math. Nobody's bad at math.
I don't have a gym membership. My ELO is very low. Hey, kitty. Hey, my love. Did you hear the positive comments from Vivek on Nick? I don't know. I, Vivek's trying to win an election, man. Let him, let him try to win. Yeah, hard work, exactly. Confidence is important. You know, you can't be afraid of math. Some people have dyscalculia. I've, I've met people with dyscalculia. It's very frustrating. People with really bad ADHD and dyscalculia. Hard work, exactly. You're born with dyscalculia. Yeah, I don't do TypeScript. I just do prototyping. We got some Angular boys in here. People still use Angular? I didn't know that. A lot of people gave up on Angular. Dear Mo, I get asked to be on a lot of podcasts. If I went on all the podcasts I was asked to be on, I wouldn't have time to do anything else other than podcasts.
kitty cat. That's right. That's right, a little kitten, too. I know. She's only four months old now. Happy birthday. Here, show the little one. Five months? There's a little baby still. There she goes. know about this fragment system. I haven't, uh, Guillermo, I've been very interested in using them. Uh, I like ontology a lot, but uh, um, ontology is uh, hard to pull off in real life, you know, for, for certain use cases. So it's good, you know, The only reason I, I'm interested in that is, is for medicine. I think I'll do a, a entertainment podcast, but not uh, not a uh, like an investing or how to podcast. Medicine has a lot of information that's hard to organize. So an ontological system would be useful for that. This week in AI would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? I think there are, are there, aren't there already this Shows like that. Hello, my lovey, I love you. Hello, my lovey, I love you. I do think it would be good for content to do this week in AI just to like, be able to get mind share and investors and stuff like that. It wouldn't hurt. Yes, my lovey, I love you. Yes, my lovey, how about you? Yes, my lovey, I love you. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. She knows I'm singing to her, so she's happy. She's purring, she's nice. I don't think neural link is too interesting. Yeah, this week in AI would probably be a good idea. You get a lot of cross benefits from that. And I could probably do that live. Fuck it, we do it live. I always work. Yes, I love you, kitty. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, so apparently this is how we do fragments. Oh, that's cool. It's like an empty brace less than right uh, less than left than less than greater than i don't think too many hedge hedge funds uh 
take too much time off. Girlfriend is out of town at the moment. Is that you, Allison? Is that you? Quit this cat's claws. Quippy quitty. She's not going to be happy. She loves her claws, right, Katie? You love your claws. You love them. Yeah, Neural Neuralink's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I've used Rust language too. Right, Katie? You've done that. Not too much. Not too much. We don't really do low level. We're not hardware people. Isn't that right, Kenny? We don't do that. Okay, here's the quipper. She's gonna quit this claw. Let me see that claw. Let me see that. I know you're sad. I'll fix it. Oh no, two by four? You look so sharp, Kitty. Man, you're scratching too much. You're scratching too much. You little beast. I have a lot of book recommendations. I still talk with Milo, yeah. Thank you, Joey. I don't know who David Goggins is. Let's go. the Deftones.
You cut your ties Felt better off Salutations to your son Hey Awoke to find You heading out With your white collar undone You placed a bomb Graph theory, what's up? Four color theorem, let's prove it, yeah. Uh, 
I don't do much uh, true async. We're in D. Whole step down, whole step down flow. Yeah, no threading for me, man. My chem? Man, I could have been in my chem if I wanted. My girlfriend and I met online. Just chatting on Twitter and Instagram, I guess. All right, is Ken still here? At its heart, graph theory is the mathematical study of interactions, conflicts, and connections. What does that even mean? What a tuning this is. Half step down, everything's, I just tuned up. Anything can. The relationship between collections of discrete objects can inform us about the overall network in which they reside, and graph theory can provide one avenue for analysis. If our ever more in our ever more connected world, understanding the, the information a connection or a lack thereof can provide is extremely powerful. This text will explore major topics in graph theory from both theoretical and applied viewpoints. Topics will progress from understanding basic terminology to addressing computational questions and finally end with broad theoretical results. Examples and exercises will guide the reader through this progression with particular care in strengthening proof techniques and written mathematical explanations. Current applications and exploratory exercises will be provided where appropriate to further the reader's mathematical reasoning and understanding of the relevance of graph theory to the modern world. The first chapter introduces basic graph theory terminology and mathematical modeling using graphs. Tournaments are used to solidify understanding of terminology and provide an application accessible to the average undergraduate, followed by some standard graph theory methodology. Graph isomorphism is discussed to provide a theoretical counterpoint and practice in graph drawing. The character to chapter includes a review of proof techniques featured throughout the book. The second chapter introduces the three major route problems, Eulerian circuits, Hamiltonian cycles, and shortest paths. Each topic is introduced through its historical origin, followed by a discussion of more modern applications and theoretical implications.
These topics allow the reader to delve into processes on a graph and provide a few areas for practice with graph theory proofs. The third chapter focuses entirely on trees. Not, not my kind of trees, right? Smoke these trees. Terminology, applications, and theory. Algorithms for finding a minimum spanning tree are discussed, as well as counting the number of different spanning trees. Trees provide ample areas for improving skills in induction, contradiction proofs, reductio ad absurdum for you home gamers, and counting techniques. The fourth chapter begins with the more theoretical topic of connectivity, discussion of Menger's theorem, and ends with flow and capacity and additional applications. Some modern applications are also discussed, including centrality measures and their use for network analysis. Garbage. The subsequent three chapters each focus around a major graph concept, matching, coloring, and planarity. The standard theoretical aspect of these topics are included, but each chapter brings in a modern application or approach. These include the stable marriage problem, online coloring and list coloring, and edge crossing and thickness. The end of the book includes appendices that cover some prerequisite material on set theory, functions, and matrix multiplication, as well as discussion on algorithm runtime and pseudocode for some of the algorithms appearing throughout the book. There are also hints and solutions to selected exercises at the back of the book. My advice for students, reading a math textbook takes skill and more effort than reading your favorite novel at the beach. Professors often complain that their students are not getting enough out of the readings they assign, but fail to realize that most students have not been taught how to read mathematics. My advice can be boiled down to this one thing, write while you read. Have paper and pencil next to your book anytime you read math. You should expect to work through examples, draw graphs, and play around with the concepts. We learn by doing, not passively reading and watching someone perform mathematics. This book conta contains examples often posed in the form of a question. You should attempt to find the solution before reading the one provided. In addition, some definitions and concepts can get technical, as happens in math. And the best ways to truly understand these is working through the examples. At times, details of an example, especially if it is the second or third of a type, will be left for the reader or will appear in the exercises. While understanding how to apply a concept is an important part of math, we could ignore the benefits of working through the, through the why. This book will give you the opportunities to test both aspects of graph theory with theoretical results intended to strengthen your proof writing skills. Some smaller results will be left as exercises, as well as some small pieces of large concepts. Do not shy away from the challenge of the theory. We gain better insight into the richness of math when we push ourselves to struggle with its complexity. Advice for instructors. Each chapter is intended to give a good overview of a major graph theory topic. Within each chapter, these topics are explored from a computational and theoretical aspect, as well as through various apps, applications. One semester course should be able to cover the basics of each chapter, but should at minimum cover the majority of chapters one through three, uh, and some portion of the remaining four chapters. For a truly introductory course in graph theory, some proofs and exercises should be lightly covered or omitted. Conversely, for more advanced students, the theoretical aspects of graph theory should be emphasized. With either group, some computational results and exercises should be prioritized to help students better understand the concept. The emphasis on applications is left to the discretion of the instructor. The chapters build on one another, both in terms of terminology and connections between topics. However, some sections could be omitted without later impacting uh, chapters as summarized below. Essential sections are introduction to graphs and tournaments, provides many basic terms throughout the text, proofs and handshaking lemma, Eulerian circuits and route terminology, Hamiltonian cycles, tree definition, spanning trees, tree properties, connectivity definition of major results, Menger's theorem, matching basics, general graph matching, four color theorem and coloring introduction, basic vertex coloring, results and techniques in planar graphs. Additional section for theory focused course would be graph isomorphism, matrix representation tournaments, Hamiltonian tournaments, distance, diameter, and radius, two connected graphs, ear decomposition, additional proofs of Hall's theorem, factors, edge coloring, and one factors, Ramsey numbers, not Gordon Ramsay. Uh, additional proofs, proof of Kuratowski's theorem, planar graph coloring, edge crossing, and additional applications or sections for application focus course would be matrix representation of 
for applied problems, degree sequence tournaments, Eulerian circuit algorithms, Eulerian circuit applications, traveling salesman problem, my favorite, Hamiltonian circuit in, in circuits and tournaments, Dijkstra's algorithm, counting walks using matrices, rooted trees, search trees, additional tree applications, traveling salesman problem using trees, network flow, centrality measures, stable matching, and coloring variations. Exercises appear at the last section of each section of each chapter. The first group of exercises are more computational process-based. These provide good practice with terminology and algorithms. The second groups are proof-based and allow the for the strengthening of proof writing. Some of these can be tricky and they're hints in the back. The last three exercises of each chapter are more exploratory or, or advanced. With each grouping, the problems are organized in the same order as the sections of the chapter. Thank you to all my colleagues. Um, All right. CRC Press makes good stuff, I think. So now Taylor and Francis, I guess, and Informa. All right, chapter one, graph models. Terminology and proofs. This chapter will introduce you to some basic graph theory terminology and provide some motivation for the study of graphs. We begin by describing a specific type of graph called a tournament and follow with a few sections outlining important terms and operations in graphs. This chapter also provides a basic review of proof techniques and concludes by revisiting tournaments. All right, consider the following scenario. The Roanoke Soccer League is planning their end of season tournament. Each of the five teams, the Aardvarks, Bears, Cougars, Ducks, and Eagles, plays each other uh, plays every other team exactly once, and no ties are allowed. The tournament director must determine how many games are needed, how to schedule the games, and how to determine a winner once the tournament's completed. The soccer tournament described above is often referred to as a round-robin tournament. While we can describe the tournament in words or list the game outcomes in a table, it is often useful to provide a visual representation. One method, and the one we will continue to use throughout this book, is to model the information as a graph. I want you to think about that word graph really carefully because it's not what it typically means. All right, so graph theory is, is not about lined paper and Cartesian plane. Graph theory is much more abstract, and that's what makes it cool. We will formally describe a graph in the next section, but for now, think of a graph as a collection of dots, which we'll call vertices, on the page with lines, called edges, connecting the dots to indicate some kind of relationship between them. In terms of the soccer league, we could represent each team as a vertex or a dot and put an edge between a pair of vertex, vertices or dots if they pl have played each other. So G1 and G2 are the following graphs. You can see them, see them down here, G1, G2. All right, and they depict a possible way to run the first few games of the tournament. And G3, that's over here, is a graph when all the games of the tournament have been played. These are called complete graphs and will be discussed later. Using the graphs uh, above, we can help the tournament director answer at least one of the questions posed. The number of games needed is the same as the number of edges in graph 3, G3, uh, and without any complicated mathematics, we can easily count and determine there are 10 games needed for every team to play each other. Hmm. What, other what about the other questions for the tournament director? We need to understand not just which teams played each other, but also the outcomes of these games. One way to do this is to add an arrow to each edge, indicating a direction, what we'll call a directed edge or an arc. Once directions have been added to each of the edges, we now refer to the graph as a digraph, short for directed graph. The digraph shown below indicates that the aardvarks won all their games, right? A, all the arrows go out, all four of them. There's four other teams, there's five teams total. The bears beat the cougars, beat the uh, ducks, 
But the Cougars beat the Eagles and the Ducks, and the Ducks lost all their games. Poor Ducks. Quack, quack, quack. And the Eagles won their games against the Bears and the Ducks. Okay. For the specific situation above, the win of the tournament should be the Aardvarks, because they're the only team that won all four games. The number of wins for a team is coded in the digraph by looking at the number of arcs leaving the vertex, what we will call out degree later. But how could we determine a winner if no team won all their games? And how do we determine a schedule for the games? These questions will be addressed later, but for now, we'll move on to formalizing these definitions and concepts we'll need for the remainder of the book. The seven famous seven bridges problem, I'm sure, will be covered shortly. The seven bridges of Konigsberg, I think. Posed by, posed by or solved by Euler? I think it was solved by Euler. I don't know who it was posed by, though. This was in Prussia, right? Poland, Prussia. One of the most famous problems in all mathematics. As I sat in my prison cell contemplating my revenge on the world that has forsaken me, I thought about the Konigsberg problem. I thought about it very carefully. Anyway, uh, introduction to graph models and terminology. I'm just kidding. An integral component of mathematics is precise and appropriate definitions. Throughout this book, oh boy, we will use an example to motivate and gain intuition about concepts and then provide the precise definitions. I'll give you a, a quick prison story. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll always take more viewers. I don't really care, though. It's not my, my big uh, goal in life. I'm just having fun. So there's this old you know, problem of, right, you have to connect these three houses for what? Water, electricity and say, I don't know, gas. And you have to connect uh, the three houses to the three um, resources without crossing lines. And graph theory actually allows you to prove that this is not possible. And so, um, you know, it's just a funny uh, problem because guys in jail would be like, well, I'll give you everything in my locker. This is locker's where you put all your stuff. If you can uh, show me how these are all connected, and you have guys furiously scribbling like, okay, I do it like this. Perfect, right? All right. Uh, ah, fuck. Hey, Lamron, how do I do this? I think it's called the three houses problem or something like that. All right. To that end, We give the definition of a graph below. Note that many aspects of graph theory rely on basic set theory concepts, mainly the subset relationship. See Appendix A if you need a review. Definition 1.1, a graph, G, consists of two sets, okay? V is called the vertex set, and E is called the edge set. The edge set, denoted XY, is an unordered pair of vertices. We'll often use G or G equals VE as shorthand. Here's an example. Let G4 be a graph where the vertices of G4 are A, B, C, D, and E. Those are the dots, right? And the edges are A, B. You can see this connection, right? A, B. CD, you see that? There are, in fact, two CDs, but we're only going to put, the, put it once. Although, no, there it is, two CDs. It's unordered, but it's not, um, what's the term? It's not a true set, right? In a true set, an element can only appear once. Anyway, there's BB, which is this self-referential edge, right? There's AD, there's that. And there's BC. Technically called a multi-set. Thank you so much, Ken. So G4 is defined by these two sets. We generally use a visualization of the draft graph where a dot represents a vertex and the edge is a line connecting the two dots. The vertices. A drawing is given below. Note that the two lines were drawn between C and D as the edge CD is listed twice. 
In addition, a circle was drawn at B to indicate the edge BB that starts and ends at the same vertex. We'll often need to describe the, describe the size of a graph. The term is ambiguous, as may be discussing the number of vertices or edges. We'll use the following notation to make this clear. The number of vertices in a graph is denoted by these two bars, V of G, or V of the graph, or more simply, the two bars with G in the middle. The number of vertices is denoted by double bars with G in the middle. Using this notation from graph 4, we see that the single bars, or the, the vertex uh, set, has five members, and the edge set has six members. It should be noted that the drawing of a graph can take many different forms while still representing the same graph. The only requirement is to faithfully record the information from the vertex and edge set. We often draw graphs with the vertices in a circular pattern, as shown in example 1.1, when some instances other configurations better display the desired information. The best configuration is the one that reduces the complexity or best illustrates the relationships arising from the vertex and edge set. From graph 4, isn't this amazing? You see two completely different drawings of G4. Both are correct. Isn't that amazing? See, B has, is represented. AD is connected. CD is two connections. AB is connected. And AD is connected. And E, the chi stands alone. So you can verify that those are the same graphs. You'd have to just check each relationship from the vertex and edge set. There are two edges between CD, the loop at B, no edges at E, and you can verify the rest. To discuss and prove properties of graphs, we need proper terminology. The graph given in the examples are good references for this terminology. Here are some of the definitions and the appropriate references. So let G be a graph, okay? If XY, <clears throat> if XY is an edge, then X and Y are endpoints for that edge. X is incident to the edge E if X is an endpoint of E. Okay, so if XY is an edge, X and Y are the vertices or the endpoints for that edge. X is incident to the edge. If two vertices are incident to the same edge or connected, we say the vertices are adjacent, and we do x squiggly line y, or x is adjacent to y. Similarly, if two edges share an endpoint, we say they are adjacent. If two edges are adjacent, or two vertices are adjacent, excuse me, we say they are neighbors. And the set of all neighbors of a vertex x is noted, n of x. Okay. Is there a difference between neighbors and adjacency? Well, we see that AB and AD are adjacent edges in G4, since they share an endpoint, which is vertex A. A is adjacent to B, since they're connected. And the uh, set of all neighbors are uh, for, of D are A and C. Makes sense. The set of neighbors for B are A b itself and c neighbors are all the vertices connected to x makes sense the neighbors of x are all the vertices connected to x thanks bizzer gamer If vertices or edges are not adjacent we call them independent if a vertex is not adjacent or incident to an edge excuse me we call an isolated vertex, and that was E in the prior graph. If both endpoints of an edge are the same vertex, we call that edge a loop, that was BB. If there is more than one edge with the same endpoints, we call these multi-edges, so that's CD, 
a multi-edge. If a graph has no multi-edges or loops, we call it simple. Okay. The degree of a vertex, degree v, is the number of edges incident to v. And a loop adds 2 to the degree. If the degree is even, the vertex is even. If the degree is odd, the vertex is odd. So the degree of a was 2, because there were two edges incident to a, right? a, d, and a, b. How about b? What was uh, b? So there's 2, 3, and 4, right? Because the loop counts as, as 2. C was 3, D was 3. Um, they had uh, one with each other and one with someone else, and, and 0 with E. If all the vertices in the graph G have the same degree K, then G is called a K regular graph. In this case, if it's, if it, well, if there's a 3 regular graph, we'll call the graph cubic. Interesting. When examining graphs, especially if they're particularly large, we may want to discuss a smaller portion of the graph called a subgraph. So graphs 1 and 2 are shown on this page uh, earlier when a portion of the total games have been played in the soccer tournament, and they're both subgraphs of graph 3. A subgraph H, generally, of a graph G is a graph where H contains some of the edges of, and vertices of G. That is, the vertices of H are a subset of the vertices of G, and the edges of H are a subset of the edges of G. Note that if subgraph H contains the edge AB, then it necessarily contains both of its endpoints. A and B. Makes sense. No impartial or no missing uh, uh, vertices. All right. Consider the graph G below. Find two subgraphs of G, both of which have the vertex set V prime equals ABC FGI. So here are two solutions AB FGIC and then AB FGIC. Notice that the graph H1 on the left contains every edge from G amongst the vertices in V uh, prime, whereas the graph H2 on the right does not, since some of the available edges are missing. Makes sense. One's kind of a copy, and one is kind of a, a little different. Now, let's keep going. The graph shown on the left is above is a special type called an induced subgraph. All the edges are present between the chosen vertices. Another special type of subgraph is called a spanning subgraph, which includes all the vertices of the original graph, but it may be um, not all the edges. Given a graph G, an induced subgraph is a graph G of V prime, where V prime is a subset of V, and every available edge from G between the vertices of G prime is included. Again, generally, we say H is a spanning subgraph, if it contains all the vertices, but not necessarily all the edges of G. That is, the vertices of H are equal to the vertices of G, and the edges of H are a subset of the edges of G. So let's find a spanning subgraph from graph G. We just take all the dots, right? Two solutions are shown below. The graphs contain all the vertices from G, but only graph H4, only in this graph could we move between any vertices in the graph which we'll later call connected. Spanning subgraphs similar to H4 will be studied in chapter 3. I'm not sure what he means when he say, could, can't, could we move between any two vertices? In general, graph x, y, and y, x are treated equally, though it is customary to write them in alphabetical order. An edge is intended to convey some sort of relationship between two discrete objects that are modeled as vertices. but connected between what? In H3, it appears you can move from I to C to D to E. Oh, you can move between literally any two vertices. I see, all of them. I missed that. The key word there, any. Got to go slowly in math. All right. Using the soccer tournament, for example, the vertices are the teams, the edge is the two teams that have played, and sometimes we um, add a direction, such as who won the game, or flow along pipes, or street direction, or some quantity, like cost, distance, or probability. So these are ways to modify a graph. So let's talk about digraphs. Many 
theorems and applications of graph theory relate to symmetric relationships between objects. As we view edge AB is the same as edge BA. However, there are scenarios where the discrete objects need not be symmetric. And in some cases, asymmetry would be better uh, displayed than the requisite information. All right, so the tournament of aardvarks, bears, cougars, and eagles, and the ducks. The model which team won a game, uh, to model which team won a game, we can add a direction to any edge, which we now call directed edge or arc. We went over this earlier. Uh, if A arrow B, then A beat B. This is a digraph, short for directed graph. The edges now have a direction. The example above is just one use of a digraph, and graph theory modeling and others will appear throughout this book. The formal definition of a digraph is given below, followed by an additional example and notation. A directed graph or a digraph is a graph with vertices and arcs that consist of a vertex set V and an arc set A. An arc is an ordered pair of vertices. Digraphs have many similar properties to undirected graphs. Looking at the graph above, we can see that a number of wins is modeled as a number of arcs coming from a team's vertex, a number of losses, a number of arcs entering the vertex. Well, here's a new graph, G5, and this is a digraph because the vertex set of G5 is A, B, C, and D, and the arc set is A, B, right? A points to B, B points to A, C, C, C points to C, D, C, D, B, and D, A. There's the drawing. You're going to get to Ramsey theory. Analogous definitions to those of definition 1.3 exist for digraphs. A few of these can be listed below through appropriate references to G5 from example 1.6. Other directed versions of previously defined terminology should be obvious based on context and will appear later in the text as appropriate. Let G be a digraph. Given the arc XY, the head is the starting vertex X and the tail is the ending vertex Y. A is the head of arc AB and the tail of arcs DA and BA from G5. Given a vertex X, the in degree of x is the number of arcs for which x is a tail, denoted degree negative of x. The out degree of x is the number of arcs for which x is the head, denoted degree plus. So degree a, uh, degree minus of a is 2, degree plus of a is 1. The underlying uh, graph for the digraph is the graph g prime which is formed by removing the direction from each arc to form an edge. That's the underlying graph. Gordon Ramsay, the chef. Ramsay, Ramsey. All right, knowing the degrees in a graph or digraph can tell you a lot of information, but need not uniquely determine the underlying graph structure. For example, both digraphs below have the same in degrees 3, 2, 1, and 0, but one contains a loop, whereas the other does not. Since tournaments have a more regular structure, namely exactly one arc between any two vertices, their degree sequence is more restrictive. We'll see how um, uh, we'll investigate these further when we re revisit some property of tournaments. All right, weighted graphs. I don't drink Bud Light. As seen above, digraphs can be used to model asymmetric relationships between discrete objects. We now consider a different edge relationship where instead of the direction we're concerned with quantity. These are weighted graphs. All right. One seven. Sam wants to visit four national parks over the summer. To save money, he needs to minimize his driving distance. The graph below his weights along each edge, indicating the driving distance between his home and Boise to the four national parks, Glacier, Rocky Mountain, Yellowstone, and Yosemite. The solution will be revisited on Hamiltonian cycles. For now, we will end our discussion with the formal definition of a weighted graph and another example modeled by a weighted graph. All right, a weighted graph G is a graph where each of the edges has a real number associated with it. The number is referred to as the weight and it's the weight of xy is denoted for the edge xy. Note that a weighted graph can also refer to a graph in which each of the vertices is assigned a weight. 
a denoted weight of the vertex for vertex V. The next two chapters will focus on graphs in which the edges are weighted. The vertex version is addressed in chapter six. Also, the weight associated with an edge can represent more than just the distance. For example, we may be interested in time, cost, or any other measure related to the connection between two discrete objects. Choose the appropriate measure based on the scenario. All right, here's, here's an example. Adam comes to you with a new game. He flips a coin and you roll a die. If he gets heads and you roll an even number, you win two bucks. If he gets heads and you roll an odd number, you pay him three bucks. That's not good. Well, if he gets tails and you roll either a one or a four, you win five dollars. If he gets tails and you roll anything else, you pay him two dollars. What is the probability you win five dollars? What is the probability you win any amount of money? A probability tree is a graph with the vertices representing possible outcomes for each part of the experiment. Here's, it's a coin and dice game. And the edges are labeled with the probability that any uh, given outcome occurs. To find the probability of any final outcome, multiply along the, the path from the initial vertex to the ending result. The tree below has the edges labeled and the final probabilities calculated. So here's the start. There's 50-50 of rolling heads or tails. And of course, there's a 50-50 of, of there being evens or odds in the first version. And the second version, it's a... Uh, you either can do a one or a four or a two, three, five, six. So it's a third, one, four, and a two thirds for the rest. So the probability of this outcome is a fourth, a fourth, a sixth, and a third, or two, two sixths. Another way to look at it. Uh, so it's half up here and half down here. Using the tree above, the probability you win five dollars, which requires what a tails and a, uh, a one and a four, is one sixth. So the net present value of that, right? is uh, one sixth times five dollars, which is what, a little less than a dollar. Uh, and the probability you win any money is five twelfths, so less than um, uh, half. Don't play this game with Adam. He's more likely to win than you, but we also didn't calculate the, the actual net present value of, of the moves, but anyway. Complete graphs. The weighted graph in example 1.7 and G3 from page 2 have the same underlying structure. If we remove the weights of edges and the vertex names, we would not be able to distinguish between the two graphs since in both graphs, every pair of distinct vertices is, in, is joined by an edge. These graphs are called complete graphs. A graph G is complete if every pair of distinct vertices is adjacent. A complete graphs graph of n vertices is denoted K sub n. The first six complete graphs are shown. So these are kind of like ones you can memorize in your head in a sense, right? K1 is always a single dot. K2 is always uh, uh, two vertices joined by one edge. K3 is always three vertices joined by three edges. K4 is always four vertices joined by one, two, three, four, five, six edges. K5 is five vertices joined by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is that right? Nine, K6, etc. And we're gonna, I guess, learn some formulas about this. Uh, I think, th I thought this would be even, right? Shouldn't this be 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we go. All right, complete graphs are special for a few reasons. In particular, if you think of an edge as describing a relationship between two objects, then a complete graph represents a scenario where every pair of vertices satisfies this relationship. There are some other properties here. Each vertex K sub N has a degree N minus one, right? So every vertex has four um, adjacencies in this example, right? Because there's just only four other vertices to partner with. The number of edges is given by K uh, of n times n minus 1 over 2, a very important concept in number theory. Um, so 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. You take the last two, 6 times 5 is 30, divided by 2 is 15, so there's 15 edges in here. And for 7, right, there would be 7 times 6, which is 42, uh, so there would be 21 edges in K7. K sub n contains the most edges out of all simple graphs on n vertices. Complete edges will periodically, or complete graphs will appear in this book. In many cases, we'll be looking for the largest complete graph that appears as a subgraph. This is called the click size of a graph. 
Okay. The click size of a graph, omega, is the largest integer n such that k sub n is a subgraph of g, uh, omega g. Uh, so the click size graph is omega g, or omega of g, which is the largest integer n such that k sub n is a subgraph of g, but k sub n plus 1 is not. I love an example. Let's get one. All right, so find omega g for the, each of these graphs, g1 and g2. So g1 does not contain any triangles, k sub 3, but does have an edge, so it contains k sub 2. These are two k sub 2s. So the omega of g1 is 2. Interesting. Now, uh, in g2, we have some vertices. There's, there's some triangles there. Uh, T, V, W, and X are all adjacent. But there's no collection of five vertices that are all adjacent. So the omega of G2 is four. K sub n has n choose two edges. All right. Sort of looks like a three-dimensional uh, pyramid, I guess, or what do you call this? I think it is a pyramid. Looks like a methane. Knowing the click size of a graph is often uh, a tool for determining other useful properties about a graph, such as the chromatic number, or if it's planar. Graph complements. Consider a graph representing friendships. Given a collection of people, we could form a graph where an edge exists between the two vertices if those people are friends. But what if we wanted to know who are not friends? Perhaps a teacher wants to avoid friends talking during class and will not seat them at the same table. A new graph would include all the edges missing from the original graph, and we'll call that the graph complement. Given a simple graph G, define the complement of G as the graph uh, G bar where, edge, uh, where an edge xy exists in E bar if and only if xy does not exist in E. All right, so note that graph complements are only defined by simple graphs, graphs without loops or multi-edges. So we need the complements of each graph. So the complements of G1 are just G bar here. G2, interesting, right? G2. And for G3, look how interesting and weird the other complement looks. Note that if we have a graph on G on n vertices and add every edge in G uh, bar to G, oops, then the resulting graph is simply k sub n, the complete graph. Bipartite graphs. As we have already seen, problems that can be modeled by a graph need to consist of distinct objects, such as people or places, and a relationship between them. The proper model will allow you to graph structure or properties of the graph will allow the graph structure or properties of the graph to answer the question being asked. If you want to display the relationship between two different types of objects, we would use a bipartite graph. Oh, just my friend, the topologist, has uh, asked for it. All right, definition 112. A graph is bipartite if the vertices can be partitioned into two sets, x and y, so that every edge has one endpoint in x and the other in y. Interesting. Three student organizations, student government, math club, and equestrian club hold meetings on Thursday afternoon. The only available rooms are as follows. Based on membership and room size, student government can only use 201 or 372. Equestrian club can only use 105 and 372. Math club can use any of the rooms. Draw a graph that depicts these restrictions. Each organization and room is represented by vertex, and the edge denotes which is able to use which. The edges do not occur between two organizations or between two rooms, as these would be nonsensical in the context of the problem. So therefore, this graph is bipartite. In the example above, there are some edges that could be added to the graph while still keeping the graph bipartite. Just as we define a complement or a complete graph as, as a simple graph of the most edges, we define a complete bipartite graph. K sub mn is a complete bipartite graph where the number of edges or number of vertices in x is equal to m 
the number of vertices in y is equal to n, and every vertex in x is adjacent to every vertex in y. Below are a few examples of complete bipartite graphs. It is customary to write m and n in increasing order. So k23 versus k32, but it's not required. Here's k24. Here's k13, and here's k33. When m is 1, we call k1n a star. Since we could draw, draw these with a single vertex in the center and all the remaining vertices surrounded by it. Look at k15 and k18. They do look a little like stars, don't they? Bipartite graphs will appear at various times throughout the text, but extensively in chapter 5. They have some interesting properties that will be investigated as appropriate, but most importantly, we want to remember that they are used to show relationships between two distinct groups of objects. We can further generalize bipartite graphs where we break the vertices into more than just two sets. A graph G is k partite. If the vertices can be partitioned in this, into k sets, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub k, so that every edge has one endpoint in x sub i and the other in x sub j, where a isn't equal to j. So here's a four partite graph. And again, they're distinct sets of relationships. And here's k223. Yeah, this is pretty important in technology. All right, when k is 3, we call the graph tripartite instead of threepartite. In addition, we add the adjective complete to any, in addition, we, add, we can add the adjective complete to any k-partite graph. We simply want to include all the possible edges so the graph remains k-partite. Above drawings are a four-partite graph and the complete 223 tripartite graph. No edges missing, right? All right, so we're at 126 graph combinations. I just want to check out. Okay, we're going to stop at 126. All graphs are built from sets of vertices and edges. Some operations on sets have natural translations onto graphs. We will focus on a few that appear at times throughout this book. Okay, so if you have two graphs, G and G, the union, I'm sorry, if you have two graphs, given the two graphs, G and, G, and probably H, this is a typo is my guess. The union G, union H is the graph with vertex set, vertices of G, union, vertices of H, and the edge set, edges of G, union, edges of H. If the vertex sets are disjoint, that is the vertexes of G uh, and the vertexes of H or the null set or, or the null member, we, then we can call the disjoint union the sum uh, denoted by G plus H. Note that G plus H is just a special type of unions, so, and so unless we want to explicitly um, use or note that the vertex sets are disjoint, it is customary to use the union notation. All right, so find the sums of K sub 3, this is the complete graph, and then uh, an H1, and the union uh, H1 uh, and H4 using the graphs from 1, 3, and 1, 4. All right, since we're finding the sum, we're assuming the vertex sets are disjoint. Thus, this, the resulting graph is the one below. I'm confused. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> get to get to these later, but I'm confused because I don't remember where we had H1. Ah, there it is. Find the sum of k 
and H1, and the union of H1 and H4 using those examples. Since we're finding the sum of K3 and H1, we are assuming the vertex sets are disjoint. The resulting graph is simply the graph below. There is no overlap in any of the vertices. So this is the sum. H1 and H4 are subgraphs of the same graph. Let's go back. There they are. H1 is the complete graph, or the top. And H4 is a subgraph but it's a spanning subgraph. They have some edges in common, so their union will consist of the edges, all the edges, and at least one of H1 and H4, where we do not draw our list an edge twice, it appears in both graphs. Okay, cool. So just a, like a union, a simple union. All right, definition 116. The join of two graphs, G and H, denoted by G join H, is the sum of G plus H together with all the edges of the form X, Y, where X exists in V of G, the vertices of G, and Y exists in the vertices of H. This is the join of two graphs. Find the join of K3 uh, in the graph G below, consisting of three vertices and two edges, as well as the join of G and G. All right, so we got K sub 3 and the join. So we have to join these two graphs. So all the edges X, Y, where X exists in V and Y exists in V, H. OK. Every vertex from K3, ABC, is adjacent to all those from G. So K3 is uh, X, Z, Y, right? And then G is ABC. But this is not K6, because the AC edge is missing. Interesting. The join GVG is on the right. So it's ABC and ABC. Is this K6? No, because AC edges are missing as well. Well, there's more, are they all, is that all that's missing from here? Yeah, I think so. All right, each of the definitions above can be generalized to more than two graphs, just as we just des can describe a union of more than two sets. Cool. So that was sections one, two, one, one, and one, two. Then there's one, three, which deals with isomorphisms. Section one, four, which is representing matrices. There's some matrices there. Section 1.5, which talks about proofs, including direct proofs, indirect proofs, induction, my favorite things here. Uh, section 1.6, degree sequence. Section 1.7, more tournaments. Section 1.8 are the exercises. So. That's chapter one of graph theory. Pretty fun. Um, I approach learning things by just trying as hard as I can. That's all you can do, right? You gotta put in all your effort. Even if it's painful, it's like working out, right? I'm gonna go to graph roots at some point. These are real interesting. So chapter two takes us to page 100. We read about uh, to page uh, 17. <laughs> that was pretty painful. Good times, good times. You know, we'll uh, keep going through it whenever Ken's around.
Uh, Nibbles alert. Nibbles is out cold. So you've got one knuckle tucked in. The tail is swooped around. Let's take a look. Notice the tail. The edges of her paws form a, uh, a sparse graph, I believe. I read a graph theory textbook when I was in uh, prison. So some of that was good review, but didn't learn anything, I don't think. Just good to re-strengthen those neural network weights in my head. You know? Those paws. Anything could be in, written in the form of a graph, right? Phase three trials fail a lot. Yeah, yeah. Paw one is not adjacent to paw four. <laughs> yeah, she's out cold. Normally, if I crinkle something, she'll wake up. Well, that sucks for you, Mr. Peem, because I'm pretty fucking smart, and I read a lot of books. Sorry. I remember everything I read. Yeah, Chris, I definitely do. Lou the cat? No, that sounds fun. body problem I know it's also on um, Chinese uh, Tencent Yeah, the Oppenheimer movie looks great, I agree.
Please don't buy Pepe. If we're racing to suicide, so be it. You can't stop it. Try and stop me. Try and stop me. pretty complicated forever you really gotta know the industry it's not just like a simple thing I don't think it's health tech.
Uh, digital health is fine. I'll be uh, neck beard. I don't care. All right, guys, I think I'm going to head to bed. Have a good one. Great to be with you today.